Finance Secretary Mahinda Sirivardhana elaborated on China's role in the country's debt treatment. China has extended financial aid and loans to help Sri Lanka address its economic challenges, especially during the times of crisis. Overall, China's ongoing support plays a vital role in Sri Lanka's aspirations for economic growth and modernization. China has also played a pivotal role in supporting Sri Lanka's debt treatment efforts in response to the unprecedented, deep and most complex economic crisis experienced since mid-2021. Exactly a year ago, in October 2023, China was the first among the official sector creditors to announce an agreement in principle AIP on the key financial terms for the treatment of debts owed by Sri Lanka to the Exim Bank of China. Subsequently, following cordial and constructive discussions, the two sides reached the final agreement on debt treatment terms in June 2024. On the same day, when a similar MOU was signed with the official creditor committee, the OCC, comprising 17 official sector lenders to Sri Lanka, and co-chaired by France, India and Japan. Subsequently, following the agreement coming into force, Exim Bank of China became the first external lender to conclude the debt treatment process. Excellent progress has also been made on the debt treatment related to China Development Bank, CDB. We are now in the final stages of finalizing comparability of treatment matters for CDP related to OCC. We all know how complex and technically challenging this debt treatment process has been both in terms of ensuring comparability with the IMF's debt sustainability analysis, that is DSA, as well as ensuring comparability of treatment with other creditors. This was possible with Chinese lenders, given the mutual trust and good faith demonstrated by both sides. Sri Lanka hopes that the debt treatment chapter will soon be closed and we can resume a robust financial relationship, including fresh financing for high-quality priority projects going forward.